Rust movie set sabotaged by disgruntled crew member, suggest Armorer's lawyer's attorneys for Armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who was responsible for the gun used by Alec Baldwin when he shot dead a cinematographer, have alleged that a crew member may have planted the live round image. Facebook by Christopher Button United States Editor 20 colon 51, 3rd of November 2021 Updated 20 colon 56, November 3rd 2021, comments lawyers representing the armorer responsible for the gun used by Alec Baldwin when he shot dead a cinematographer claim a disgruntled film crew member may have planted the live round. Attorneys for Hannah Gutierrez Reed, 24, have alleged sabotage could have taken place on the set of Rust following the death of 42-year-old Hannah Hutchins. Her lawyers said it was possible a disgruntled crew member may have planted the live bullet on set as an act of revenge. I believe that somebody who would do that, would want to sabotage the set, would want to prove a point, want to say they're disgruntled, they're unhappy, Jason Bowles said. And we know that people had already walked off the set the day before and the reason they are unhappy is they're working 12 to 14 hour days, they are not given hotel rooms in and around the area, so they had to drive back and forth an hour to Albuquerque, and they're unhappy. Bowles said Gutierrez Reed was unaware any live bullets were loaded into the gun before the deadly October 21st shooting near Santa Fe, New Mexico. She has not been named a suspect or charged with any crime in connection with Hutchins' killing, but she retained legal representation. There was a box of dummy rounds, and the box is labeled dummy, Bowles said. Gutierrez Reed, loaded rounds from that box into the handgun, only later to find out, she had no idea, that there was a live round. The armorer then handed the pistol to assistant director David Halls, who, in turn, passed it on to Baldwin and announced cold gun, indicating the weapon was safe to use. We're assuming somebody put the live round in that box, Bowles said as he appears on America's Today Show yesterday, WEDS. The person who put the live round in the box of dummy rounds had to have the purpose of sabotaging the set. There is no other reason you would do that, that you would mix that live round in with the dummy rounds. The lawyers spoke as a camera crew member who resigned the day before Baldwin's deadly shooting, claiming safety procedures were fast and loose, called the tragedy the result of a perfect storm. What I put in my resignation letter was lax COVID policies, the housing situation driving to and from Albuquerque, and specifically, gun safety, a lack of rehearsals, a lack of preparing the crew for what we were doing that day, camera first assistant Elaine Looper said. Baldwin, who also served as producer on the film, on Tuesday defended working conditions on the set by sharing several screenshots of remarks by Therese Magbale Davis, who worked in the wardrobe department for the movie. Davis denied safety was compromised on location, despite union members walking off the set just hours before Baldwin, 63, fired the 45 caliber Colt revolver. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.